Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about two confusing terms in research that is controlled variable and control in an experiment. What is the exact difference between these two terms? Starting with the definition of variable, variable is any factor, trait or condition that is changing in an experiment. It can have different values. There are different types of variables in an experiment. Let's take an example to explain the concept. Effect of biofertilizer X on plant growth. We have used the same example in all our research methodology videos. Suppose a researcher has developed a biofertilizer and he is testing the effect of this biofertilizer on plant growth. Independent variable is a variable that the researcher changes. Here, it is the application of fertilizer X. The variable that the researcher changes, the variable that the researcher manipulates. And dependent variable is a variable that is affected by the change in the independent variable. The researcher thinks that by applying this independent variable, there are other variables that will be affected by this application like plant growth, number of leaves, number of fruits, etc. So dependent variable is a variable that is affected by the change in independent variable. Independent variable is denoted by x. It is the cause. The value of independent variable is decided by the researcher. The amount of fertilizer that is to be applied, everything will be decided by the researcher. Whereas in the case of dependent variable, it is denoted by y. It is the effect result or outcome. Here, the values of dependent variable, the researcher has no role, he just observes, he just measures, that's it. And the third type of variable is a control variable. So we have discussed independent and dependent variable. There are many other parameters in this experiment, like the amount of water, the amount of fertilizers, the amount of sunlight. All these should be held constant in an experiment. All that variables that are held constant throughout the experiment are called controlled variable. Hope this much is clear. Now moving into the next point that is controlled experiment or controlled group in an experiment. In an experiment, take this case effect of biofertilizer X on plant growth. There are two groups. There is an experimental group and a control group. Experimental group is a group where the researcher is conducting the experiment. Whereas a control group is a group where the researcher is not conducting the experiment. Or in other words, a good control group is identical to the experimental group except the difference in the experimental condition. Here it is the application of fertilizer X. So in experimental group, we are conducting the experiment. Whereas in control group, we are not conducting the experiment. Here we are not adding the biofertilizer X. In experimental group, the researcher changes the independent variable. The independent variable is the application of fertilizer X. Whereas in control group, the researcher is not changing the independent variable. And finally, why we need a control group? In order to find out this effect of biofertilizer X, on plant growth, we need a comparison with this control group. Control group helps to compare this experimental result with natural result or a control group. If there is more growth in this experimental group than this control group, then we can definitely say that this biofertilizer is good. Otherwise, we need to revise the formulation. It also increases the reliability and validity of experimental results. So if there is a possibility of keeping a control group, it is a must in an experiment. Hope you got the difference between control group and also the controlled variable in an experiment. Thank you so much for your attention. You are with biologyexamsorry.com. Thank you so much for your support.